Hi, welcome to Low Vision Living 2070. I'm Kathy, and today my vision is probably closer to 2080 because my allergies are bothering me, and so that definitely affects my vision. Just one of those things that goes along with low vision sometimes. So yesterday I went and actually met my caseworker. I did find out that I'm eligible for services through the state, so that is really cool. Um, I'm not exactly sure what all that's going to entail. I do know that they are going to set up an evaluation for a uh, driver evaluation to see if um, they think that I can drive with the bioptics, which I've been driving anyway. I'm still legal to drive without the bioptics, but I have to go through training to be able to be legal to drive with the bioptics. So um, I'll hopefully be having a evaluation for that sometime in the next couple weeks to a month. And then the other thing is they were going to get in touch with another agency that will help me with in-home things like settings on my phone and my iPad and then also computer things, maybe a new software program that will enhance the font and that kind of thing in other programs and be able to do some color changes and that kind of thing to help with my vision. So that will be really interesting to go through. I use a lot of um, accommodations anyway, like magnifiers and lighting and that kind of thing. So it'll just be interesting to see what other things that they suggest to me. Um, they may come to my home or at some point in time, I may end up going out, out to the agency, which is in Indianapolis. And it's so that for me is about 40 minutes away. So that's not too bad. So that is, a, that's good, that's progress, a step in the right direction. And then just a couple of things that I have um, found out recently through wearing my, my optics. Um, the other night I was at a meeting and it was the first meeting that we had had since I got my glasses. And so as I was sitting there, one of the girls was sitting opposite of me and um, she's like, oh, your glasses are really cool. I like them. I'm glad you got them. And then she told me after the meeting, because obviously, you know, as you're in a meeting, you look around the room, you look at the different people and that kind of thing. And she said she could actually see um, my eyelashes when I opened and closed my eyes when I blinked. So I thought that was kind of funny. I'd never thought of that before. Um, and then the other thing is last night I was able to go to a magic show that was for, it was geared for little kids. My grandsons wanted to go. And so we went and that was the first time I have worn my, my bioptics at an event like that. And it was amazing because I could actually see what was going on and to look through the carrier lens versus looking through the bioptics, it, it just, showed me once again how much I have missed over the past few years. So these are my distance glasses. You see the, the bioptics up there at the top. And so this part down here is the carrier lens and then this is these are the bi bioptics. And so as I was watching the magic show, obviously I had my head tipped down just a bit so I could look through the bioptics and um, it was really cool because I could see what the magician was doing as far as, um, I don't even know how to explain it, but it would be like you sitting 10 or 12 rows behind me versus where I was sitting and you would see the same as I did. And so it's just, I don't even know how to explain it, but the difference is definitely there. I know now that I missed a lot of stuff going to school activities and that kind of thing because I couldn't see and I didn't realize that I couldn't see. Um, obviously, I can see, but I just couldn't see the details and some of the other little things that happened and that kind of stuff, especially expressions on people's faces and that kind of thing. I have missed that and it's been going on for 20 years. So, I guess what I want you to take away from this is if you do have low vision, which is considered 2060 to 2180, um, please go and check with a low vision specialist. Even if your regular eye doctor has told you that there's nothing they can do to improve your vision, okay, they may not be able to actually improve your vision as far as, as your, 
you know, your actual eye. They may not be able to heal your eye or anything like that. But with magnification, you can still see so much better. So I would definitely suggest that you go to a low vision specialist and see what kind of um, glasses or magnification tools of any kind that you can use that will help enhance the vision that you do have. Don't just settle for the doctor telling you, oh, well, there's nothing we can do. There might be something that they can do, even if that's just to improve your vision just a little bit. Vision is so important. And um, when you realize, like I have, that I've been missing so much over the last 20 years that it's like I kick myself in the butt. Um, because it's like, I should have done this a long time ago. And as a matter of fact, um, we go to the Indy 500 and there was a lady who sits four or five rows in front of us and she had a pair of bioptics. I didn't know what they were. Um, and I thought about going down and talking to her and I didn't do it. And I should have, because I would have known a few years ago that bioptics were out there and I, there's so much more that I could have seen and could have enjoyed and that kind of thing. Um, I still have gotten a lot of enjoyment out of the vision that I have going and doing things, but I am definitely looking forward to going places that I've been before and be able to see them literally with a whole new perspective. And so I'm looking forward to that. We're already talking about where we might go this summer for vacation. So, um, I'm, I'm thinking over the places that we've been that I would kind of like to go back to. So that was it. Kind of ended up rambling a little bit, but um, have a great day.